Hello and welcome to Citrus K Night Gaming. Citrus here. Today we are having a look at a game called Core Defense. I just picked this up on the Steam sale. Um, I've actually attempted one game of it. So as much as this is sort of a first play video, um, technically I have played one game and that was because the recording um, didn't work. I was uh, recorded the audio but didn't record the visuals so that wasn't it very handy at all but this time it's going to work I hope. Anyways if um, so we'll have a bit of a look at this. This is a tower defense game, roguelike tower defense game with where you select your towers after each, well, select additional towers after each wave and build up a, a deck and you've got module upgrades and upgrades for the actual towers themselves but we'll jump into a, a new game uh, we've got random seed um, this I um, assume this is to do with um, how far I got last time because I did die um, we've got difficulty hard so the base difficulty is hard you can't select hard difficulties until beat that one um, and we can choose a uh, supercharge which we won't we'll just do this and we'll leave that seat as is Okay, so survive 50 ways and we get to choose a tower. If you click on, left click on them, you can actually have a look at their stats. Very slow, but very high damage. And manually controlled as well. I did have a hammer last time. I thought they were decent. Though, maybe we go for a rocket pod, though. Ah, let's go for that. So, we can upgrade the hammer speed, choose another tower, or. go for this which I did actually end up running this later on in the, in the uh, last game which reduces your reward amount choices but you get a bonus reward I think we won't choose that yet because we want to be able to um, have more choice with our towers um, oh and we'll get some walls uh, auto shields yeah let's go for auto shields no we can build a maze ourselves okay so let's do this. Now the nice thing is you can pick up and uh, replace. So we will start out uh, like that and we can readjust the maze as we go. We'll leave it on two times speed. Okay, what's this? You get an extra wall when you skip a reward. 
Shields nearby allies percentage of their max health. That's an ability. But we'll go for that. Oh, lightning tower, what's this do? Okay, it doesn't it increases damage on targets. It's either that or get the wall, but let's get that for now. Still early on, so So this is a core you have to defend it, obviously. You do have flying units like that as well. Sniper Tower, range 3.5, does more damage for each kill. So the damage goes up by 4 per kill with a kill bonus cap of 250. That actually sounds quite nice, especially to get early on. So we'll stick that there. Okay, that was a quick wave. Increase the limit for one common upgrades. And upgrade sniper speed or upgrade sniper range. Oh, higher chance of rolling core modules. I think we'll go for speed. So down here shows how many enemies are coming. More damage. Now nanobots. So these are um, passive upgrades, um, which you can see displayed here. Which, um, and you can look at your towers here. It's like a took me a while to work out last time, but you can actually choose what your towers target. And you can stack walls as well. When you stack walls it increases range. So Uh, units who want to skip a reward. Let's go for more sniper speed. And what's it? Attack single targets reducing their armor. Yeah. Why not? We might stick that there for now. Okay, upgrade amount of speed, upgrades, what's disruptor, hits multiple status effect, inhibiting all actions, okay, let's just go for more sniper range. Go for a rocket pod. Sure. Tower shield generator. Shields nearby allies for percentage of the max health. Range 1.5 tiles. Hmm. <laughs> I'll think about that. Upgrade rocket pod speed or wall. Let's go for speed on that. Do I only have this many slots? So we do really need to start getting walls soon though. Uh, 
going heavy into the heavy investment into the sniper. Uh, oh, that's that manually controlled one. Uh, hammer speed, sure. So every ten waves is a boss wave. get a hard chance of uncommons and rares. It's probably a good one to get early, but that's a attack speed bonus for all towers. It's gonna be one of those two, but let's let's go for that. Ability heal, we're still 25 health points on targets in range. Um, abilities do take up a tower slot. So, um, we will skip that. Um, I think I, d I think I did say, but you can move all towers and um, walls. range yeah we're going heavy into that sniper uh, let's go rocket pod speed and rocket pod damage why not actually an upgrade that meant you got two walls per wall so that that was nice um, we haven't what's refined Gain a damage bonus for towers and abilities. Let's choose that. Tinkerer, you get a hard chance for rolling core modules. Freezer, slow small pillars around it. That's pretty self explanatory. Let's go for sniper range. Uh, mount armor reduction. Healer towers are good. Obviously, don't do damage, but increases the limit for one common upgrade. Sure. So we might put that one there because they does heal core as well. Quite like in having the sniper. Sniper was actually a tower that um, unlocked um, from the last run I did. So 25 plus 4%. 4% of the 25, I take it. So as that gets better, that naturally improves. Attacks all targets around it. I wonder... That would be our last tower, but let's do it. 
Now we just need to start getting some walls. We'll stick that down there for now. Uh, rock pod range. Yeah, let's do that. And damage. Go. Melter damage? Sure. Lightning damage? Sure. Boss wave? Sure. Okay. Mobs do less damage when reaching the core. Oh, sounds nice. Hammer damage? Sure. So, cards do come in um, the various rarities. Yeah, white, purple, and orange. I think it's just normal, or well, common, uncommon, and rare. Heavily investing in the uh, sniper. Hammer speed increases the limit for all uncommon upgrades. Uh, or more nanobots. Let's do that. We're not taking too much damage at the moment, but it's still early. Though I'm definitely doing better than last game. Gain a range bonus for towers and abilities. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, auto shields increased level uh, more hammer damage sure um, more upgrades Healer healing. Tech speed bonus. Why not? Uh, boom blast damage. Two of those. Why not? Um, yeah, units. Healing, heal range. Okay. Oh, hard on core. And rocket pod damage? Sure. Boss wave. There we go, that's the one I was talking about before. Get two walls when you choose a wall. We actually need to start investing in walls if we get the option. Gain 5% bonus score for this game. Sure. The score is what allows you to unlock additional abilities, towers, and uh, modules. Okay, things are really starting to get through, so we need to start building a proper maze. Uh, some enemies can drop these, which are buffs for them, and that's how many more waves they last. So after this wave, that will tick out. 
Um, I think for now we'll just do that with the walls. Until we get some more walls. That one definitely helps. Now this is more. Ah, I'd be tempted to actually grab that now, but we'll just grab walls first and hope it pops back up. So we'll do that. So that means everything's got to run around there. We'll start walling up here as well. Nice range bonus for towers and abilities, and let's grab some more walls. Can go up to five times speed on here. If you so choose. And there's that. Less is more, so we'll grab that now. Not a very good maze yet, but we can definitely um, modify it as well. Option paralysis. You get one more reward to choose from. Huh. Cool. That helps counteract the bonus reward ability. So that's nice. Okay. Tempted to completely redo this maze, but but that's all right. Uh, more walls. It's taking a bit of damage now. Um, we might move that one over to there. Sniper doesn't need to be on the front. Lines taking the hits. Uh, gain a bonus damage, yes. So I think what we'll do is we'll move the lightning over to the air and the sniper to there. So sniper's still going to have fantastic range for killing stuff, so. Lightning damage. Uh, sure, let's do that and rock a pot range. Boss wave. So, I think we'll run the walls down to there. Ah. Oh. Been forgetting you can um, uh, you can stick walls, which I might move that down to there. 
I start healing that sniper. Ah, we passed the maximum amount of stacks. So. I wasn't paying attention to that. Uh, let's go for that. Uh, lightning speed. Lightning damage. And some more walls. Because we can stack walls. Which give an increase to range. So, yeah, okay. Seems to be a decent increase, too. So, which is something I didn't realize last time. Because um, you do get little tips that um, pop up. But as the tips, uh, like, um, once they've popped up, they go in the encyclopedia. So I was having a read through the encyclopedia after the last game. And I found out a lot of things that I'd missed, just not seeing the tips necessarily as they popped up. So More nanobots? Yeah. If your towers uh, die, they go down for a wave before you can place them again. Deal more than 1000 damage with one shot. Nice. We'll upgrade that. Probably could um speed that up. We'll get some more walls. More s ah. I saw the sniper speed was well past its max limit too. So I've got to stop doing picking that one because I assume. That once it goes past its limit, it's not going to be doing anything. Uh, we're at 3 out of 5, but let's go for wall. And place walls on those two to increase their range. for the sniper. More healing for the healing. Throw two bonuses in there. Uh, lightning stable damage. Bounce damage modifier. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Final wave. He's got a lot of health. Still went down. Okay. We actually won that time. The first time I tried, did not. So, 
So that's cool. The um, so this is where you unlock more towers, um, abilities, things like that, and it's just from your score. There's quite a bit to unlock. So we can go into endless mode, use statistics. How things were upgraded. And we won't do endless mode now, but I'll jump back to the main menu and just show you. We've got. Ah. Interesting. Masteries. You get one mastery point for leveling up and one for beating each difficulty after overload 20. Huh. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so you get um, achievements here. Your high scores, so that's the one I f initially failed. Um, encyclopedia, so there's four more towers to unlock, uh, another ability to unlock, all those modules to unlock. Uh, we've got a whole lot of mobs we haven't seen yet. Those are the various zones that they can, the enemy can drop. And these are the tips that I was saying about. So, it's um, definitely worth reading through these. Um, the, um, some of them I, I did not realize. Um, so it was definitely um, definitely good to check that up after your first game because I don't I don't think it's populated until you see the tips but I could be wrong on that because you do get the little tips popping up so now we've completed that we can overload it to make it harder you get less heal after boss I, and it adds a void zone in which I assume is somewhere you can't build but so yeah no but um, so far in my two games of this I'm enjoying it it's it's a actually a good solid tower defense game um, there will be interesting with the replayability um, but that's obviously something I won't know until I've played quite a bit of it the the card system is interesting with uh, random towers so that's always going to keep help keep replayability um, better as you you never know what sort of um, towers and abilities you're going to be getting um, dropped especially once you've unlocked everything uh, um, but yeah no it's it's does all the um, base tower defense mechanics really well I and I had fun um, I'll definitely be continuing to play this um, we might do never know might do a, uh, a daily challenge video at some stage we'll, we'll see 
and further down the track I might do an overview overview video once I've thrown a, a, a decent amount of time in and have a bit more of an idea of you know longevity and all that sort of stuff uh, pick the game up and local steams the uh, current steam sale not the local the current steam sale and yeah it's very very cheap and I picked up the um, the complete bundle because it does have a, an expansion DLC and um, but it's uh, yeah it's a good game um, good game so far so we'll see how how it continues to hold up but hopefully you've enjoyed the video I've enjoyed playing the game so we will uh, catch you in the next one uh, thank you for watching citrus out